Why is DNA shaped like a double helix? The DNA molecule is not linear due to the following reasons. 1. Stabilization of nucleotide sequences. DNA carries information for protein synthesis based on its nucleotide sequence. To maintain this information stably, nucleotide sequences need to bond with each other for protection. The double helical structure of DNA stabilizes the nucleotide sequences by allowing them to bond with each other. 2. Genetic replication. DNA is passed on to descendant cells through cell division. During this process, accurate replication of DNA's nucleotide sequence is crucial. The double helical structure aids in the precise replication of nucleotide sequences. 3. Transcription of genes. Information in DNA is transmitted to proteins via RNA. In this process, the nucleotide sequence of DNA must be accurately transcribed into the RNA sequence. The double helical structure of DNA assists in the accurate transcription of nucleotide sequences into RNA. The double helical structure of DNA plays an essential role in maintaining the life of organisms, including stabilizing nucleotide sequences, facilitating genetic replication, and ensuring accurate gene transcription. Specifically, the double helical structure achieves nucleotide sequence stabilization through the following mechanisms. Hydrogen bonding. Nucleotide sequences in DNA, such as adenine, A, pairing with thymine, T, and guanine, G, pairing with cytosine, C, form hydrogen bonds with each other. Although hydrogen bonds are relatively weak, the multitude of hydrogen bonds in the double helical structure contributes to the stable maintenance of nucleotide sequences. Repulsion. Nucleotide sequences in DNA have properties that cause them to repel each other. This repulsion contributes to maintaining the double helical structure of DNA. Physical structure. The double helical structure of DNA is twisted in a helical form. This helical structure aids in the stable maintenance of DNA's nucleotide sequences. The double helical structure of DNA is a crucial and indispensable component for the survival of living organisms. The reason why the DNA structure is not a straight line is as follows. 1. Complementarity principle. DNA follows the principle of complementarity, where adenine, A, pairs with thymine, T, and guanine, G, pairs with cytosine, C. Thanks to this complementary base pairing, DNA can maintain a stable double helical structure. 2. DNA replication and transcription. DNA replicates and transcribes to transmit genetic information to the next generation. The double helical structure of DNA is crucial in these processes. The ability to replicate a strand of DNA to generate a new one and use a single strand of DNA to synthesize proteins relies on this structure. 3. Hydrogen bond stability. The stability of DNA is enhanced by hydrogen bonds formed between complementary base pairs. This stability is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the genetic code. 4. DNA stability. DNA can be susceptible to damage from various environmental factors. The double helical structure provides protection, helping prevent damage to the genetic material. 5. Accessibility of DNA. DNA undergoes regulation by various proteins within the cell. The double helical structure allows only a portion of the DNA to be accessible, enabling the regulation of genetic processes. 6. Flexibility of DNA. DNA can exist in various folded forms within the cell. The double helical structure maintains the flexibility of DNA, allowing it to adopt different conformations as needed within cellular processes. In summary, the double helical structure of DNA is essential for functions such as hydrogen bond stability, the complementarity principle, DNA replication, transcription, stability against environmental factors, accessibility for cellular regulation, and flexibility in different cellular contexts. Is DNA the same in all cells in the body? No, every cell in the body does not have the same DNA. While all cells contain the same genetic information, how this information is utilized varies based on the cell type. For example, brain cells and muscle cells have the same DNA, but brain cells express genes necessary for controlling the nervous system, such as neurotransmitters, receptors, and ion channels. In contrast, muscle cells express genes needed for producing muscle proteins that enable contraction. Here are examples of genes expressed in different cell types. Brain cells, neurotransmitters, receptors, ion channels. 
muscle cells, muscle proteins, insulin resistance related proteins, skin cells, collagen, keratin, melanin, blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, liver cells, enzymes for protein, fat, and carbohydrate metabolism. These differences in gene expression are regulated during cell division. When DNA replicates during cell division, each strand moves into the nucleus of the new cell. Upon reaching the new cell's nucleus, the DNA binds with proteins that regulate gene expression. These proteins ensure that specific genes are either expressed or suppressed. Thus, while all cells carry the same genetic information, the utilization of this information varies based on cell type, determining the cell's function and contributing to the complexity of the body's functions.